Hi everyone, today I have with me Damon Keynes and Amy Maxwell from a new New Zealand comic book anthology called Faction. Guys, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Damon Keane. I'm the co-editor of Faction Comics, uh, a New Zealand comic anthology that we put out in 2012. Uh, and we're up to issue two, and it's basically uh, all about showcasing the best of New Zealand comic art. My name's Amy Maxwell. Um, I am one of the co-publishers of Faction Comics. Um, it is a comic, Kiwi comic anthology, so really excited to be on board. And yeah, um, I get in today. It's pretty full on, 25,000 people yesterday. Um, but one of the reasons why we started Faction is to get it out to the readership. So it's been great to meet just new comic buyers, um, selling everything um, that we've kind of got to offer. So yeah, it's great to be here. How did you go about coming up with an idea to do an anthology? Uh, for me, I'm a comic artist myself, and initially I just thought it would be a great way of networking. Uh, if we, we put a whole bunch of comics together, we'd be able to reach more, more people. So an anthology made sense in terms of uh, getting a wider, wider audience. Um, once I, we started doing it, we found the, the quality of the art and the, the quality of the comics we were getting was so high that it actually really just became about celebrating New Zealand comics. Uh, and yeah, the further along we went, just the more excited we got about what we were doing. And we've ended up with this you know, beautiful product, uh, full of absolutely world-class artwork um, and storytelling. And I just think when people read it, they're kind of generally they're knocked out by what we've created. How did you get started in comic books? I've been drawing comics since I was about three or four. And I have done it on and off for years, uh, but I sort of muddle in between film and design and illustration as well. And I certainly don't make money out of comics, unfortunately, in New Zealand. Uh, I have to, a day job, which is a designer and an illustrator, and video editing. But a lot of those things sort of feed back into comics anyway, and I think at the heart of it, for me, is a sort of passion for comics and comic storytelling. It's just such an amazing medium with so many possibilities, and it's doable. You know, most people can do a comic. Making a film is, is, is beyond the means, or... Of a, of a lot of people, it's actually hard to work, and this is this wonderful thing that you can sort of do in between, which has just as much visual opportunity as a film does. What has it been like editing Faction, Amy? Oh, so myself, I don't do the editing at all. He's got the eye for detail. Um, one of the things that I think I've helped out a wee bit was the business side of things. We went to Pledge Me firstly, um, and it was a great way of kind of crowdfunding. And um, yeah, so that's that's been something I've enjoyed being part of. Damon, how has it been as a comic creator yourself, choosing what to leave in and what to leave out? Um, initially, uh, I was already aware of some fantastic New Zealand comic artists and I approached them and I was like, we'd love to have you on board for this project. Um, after the first issue came out and they saw the kind of quality we were aiming for, uh, people started approaching us and saying, oh, look, we'd love to be part of this, which is where we want to be. We want, um, we, we, we're going to have a really high level of quality, a high standard, it is an edited publication, so we we will turn away stuff if we don't think it's a good fit, but um, we, we still want to encourage those people to keep drawing and hopefully we become an aspirational kind of proposition for artists. If they can't get in yet, hopefully they'll get in further down the track if they keep working. Uh, and so that way we'll hopefully encourage more New Zealand comic artists. Damon is absolutely the brainchild. Um, I think sometimes that um, artists who are amazing at doing their own work just need a friend behind them to just say, come on, you can do it. And yeah, I've just kind of been that person for Damon and it's been awesome to be a part of it. Amy, what got you interested in comic books? Yeah, well actually he was um, primarily a really good motivator, but um, started off just with reading a couple, really liked it, and actually started to realise there's more than just kind of superheroes and undies. Um, great stories, um, but I love the visual medium as well. It's absolutely kind of almost like a movie, but even better. Out of all the graphic novels you've read, what has been your favourite? Oh, it's really hard. I think the one that really um, opened my eyes to what the medium could do was From Hell. Um, I think by using the, um, you know, the visual medium as well as great storytelling, it really showed um, the architecture of London yeah. in comparison to yeah, Jack the Ripper. So that, that blew my mind. Inspector, I know your reputation for making brilliant guesses that turn out to be right. Someone told me you claim to dream the answers. Sometime this evening a bank teller was murdered in George Yard. That doesn't sound much out of the ordinary. It was the way she was done, Inspector. It was the way that she was done that cries out for a man of your talent. He can foresee the victims. I saw her. I saw her face. Your vision's about me. Most definitely. 
You know, they used to burn men like you alive. He could sense the suspects. He must be someone with money. And how do you know that? This ain't killing for profit. This is ritual. How much of the funding came through crowdfunding? All the first issue, basically. Wow. So we aren't um, bankrolled. One day. <laughs> um, but yeah, we basically we went crowdfunding. Um, Pledge Me came on board. Um, we basically raised enough to do the first print run. And now the second issue hopefully will be self-funded and we'll start to be a bit more sustainable as well. How have you found the market uh, and the reception to it? Oh, I think uh, do you know what I think? Com the market and comics. I think it's I think it's just about to take off. I think about Instagram. I think about Pinterest, Facebook. We as humanity currently like looking at pictures, so why not embed good storytelling? I absolutely think the time is right for the, this kind of medium.